My mum's name's Gemma. About six years ago now, we found out that she um, got cancer. I wasn't really sure what it really was. I just knew she was sick. And because I was quite young at that time, I thought when you're sick, you take some medicine and then you'll be fine. Um, but that wasn't really how it worked out in the end. My dad came back and told me mummy's died um, in hospital. And I just like fell to the ground in tears. I didn't know really how to comprehend it. Grief is the last thing you can go through. Losing someone feels like you're getting a piece of your heart ripped out. You go from a happy life to as if there's going to be no tomorrow. You just feel really, really sad that you just can't come back from it. I didn't want to believe it. I didn't want to accept that my mum had died, but what do I do when I need my mum, but she's not there? When I wake up in the morning, she won't be there. She never will be again. Let's sing Twinkle Twinkle, you start. My dad, his name was Bernard. He was quite loud, but he was really like a softie. Twinkle, little star. We all caught COVID. At first it was my dad, and then it was my mum and me. My mum, because of her asthma, wasn't very well. Mum had to check what her heart pressure is or something. And she tried it on my dad and it was actually quite high. So they called an ambulance. The paramedics tried to move him to the ambulance because they couldn't lift him. And he started walking and he collapsed at the top of the stairs. And he died there at the top of the stairs. A few days after my dad died, just felt unreal at times. I would start to cry. And I found it very hard not to. I didn't actually really know what I felt, mostly sad, kind of angry, like a trapped animal that wanted to get free but couldn't. Kind of a bit of confused as well. Quite a lot of emotions. When I'm angry, I'm not angry at my dad. I grip myself, saying that my dad should have lived and I should have died instead. He felt sick, went to a hospital, he died by a heart attack. I was five. He's always in our hearts and he's always next to us, but we don't see it. Grief is grey. Why does it feel grey? Because, I mean, sometimes when you feel sad, you get all in a different mood and some moods can be different depending on how you feel. But most moods are grey in these types of feelings, especially grief. I was around 10 years old when my sister, Sakira passed away. She made me laugh all the time. She was very understanding and she made me feel comfortable. I was told my sister got into a fight and then she was stabbed to death in Camden. I felt my stomach drop. I felt confused and I didn't know how to feel. It was one of the worst moments of my life. It made me feel 
sad, it made me feel angry, it made me feel all types of negative emotions. I didn't really speak about it, felt like there was nothing I could do to help. The hardest thing was losing someone I could talk to. I think about her me every day. Grief Encounter is like a place where these people help you. Grief Encounter is a charity that helps bereaved children. Children and even adults that have lost somebody very, very close to them. I started talking to Grief Encounter when I was around nine or ten, and then I had counselling for about a year. I wrote down my emotions, I wrote down um, things about my family. We did lots of drawing, we did like acting, we did games, we did all sorts of stuff. I remembered the things that Dad had and drew it. I drew his watch, his t-shirt. I partook in a crafts day. Me and my family went to the theatre with other families to go and watch the show. They do loads of things like that, social things. At a residential, I made a lot of friends. I did find it quite easy to talk to the people there because they've all lost somebody that close to them that they know what to say. And at the end, I gave them friendship bracelets to know that we're all friends still, that we can stick together even though we're very far apart. It was very helpful to have someone who didn't judge me, wouldn't get angry, wouldn't get sad, wouldn't overreact or anything. They're just here to listen and here to help. Hope you be calmer and a bit less sad about the person who you really loved and still love but's not here anymore. I felt like I was in a safe place when I was with them rather than a place where I had to like hide how I felt. Talking to somebody makes me feel better, like I'm letting it out. Without these emotions pent up, I feel like I can enjoy the time without having this on my mind. My relationship has changed for the better with my family. I used to cry quite a lot because I missed him. I used to say it was my fault that he was gone, but now I say it's not my fault. Grief encounter is really kind. They understand you. They made me feel comfortable by telling me that they're here for me and they're just here to listen to me. Really, really helps me. It makes me feel a lot more happy. It's good to know that some people in the world have felt the same way as you. Healing after you've lost someone, it's slow. It doesn't happen automatically, it doesn't happen overnight. It gets better some days, sometimes you take a step back and you just ultimately like learn from the experience. You're going on a constant roller coaster of going up and down in feelings. No way you can really get rid of it, you're always going to have grief because they're all, you're always going to miss them. But if you just simply ask for help, it just makes you feel a lot better. Obviously, I still miss my mum, but I feel in a much more comfortable place now, thanks to the healing process and especially Grief Encounter's amazing work. And without them, I'm sure I'd be in a much different place to where I am now. Mm -hmm.